Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 13 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Frostpunk 2. We're playing on the steward difficulty and we're now just into chapter 3 of the campaign. About 330 weeks into the game. Just recently having endured our first whiteout. The remnants of which are still sweeping through you know, the eastern, kind of eastern, I don't know. I don't want to say provinces, but these eastern parts of our of the lands that we are inhabiting. <laughs> I don't know, the gorge and so on. It's just moved over uh, the New London. We unfortunately lost about a thousand of our citizens to frost um, through some fault of our own. We did prepare as well as we could, but we did not realize we should shut down all the buildings to conserve heat and just keep people in the houses. For some reason, I decided to just keep stockpiling uh, <clears throat> useless bubbles uh, during that time. But lesson learned. Um, and then with the whiteout passing, we've sent out our numerous Frostland teams to survey, you know, surrounding lands further since uh, we, can't, we, we can't actually go east just yet. And the reason we need to go east is because we have set our minds on resettling Winterholm, a city we know exists somewhere in the east, although we don't know its exact location. But the idea of, you know, the Frostlanders, which is kind of the faction that we've... Uh, sort of favored slightly, you know, at various junctures. The idea is that, you know, with these whiteouts and, the you know, there's a constant threat that one of the settlements will be wiped out completely and we should, we should therefore spread out over several cities. I think that makes perfect sense. And so we will work on that. Uh, but until the whiteout actually leaves these regions, we can't go explore them. So we're just taking advantage of that time and exploring, uh, you know, the few regions kind of around us. So we've... At the end of the previous episode, we've just gotten uh, reports of, uh, you know, completion of exploration of the Pioneer Ridge. And we're also exploring the High Pass. Can't really do much here. Uh, but we will send our uh, scouts out soon to other places. We've built a skyway to, to the abandoned mine. Albert is 300. We can actually create a settlement here. Perhaps we should do that 1200 workforce. I mean, for now. For now, okay. For now, let, let's let's have a look at Pioneer Ridge officers. <clears throat> so we have Nansen's Stormwatch. This, the place where Fridjof Nansen was last seen, just before the Great Storm hit. The captain later ordered the wall strengthened and the and the larder extended. Our expeditions can use this base to rest and resupply. Explorations increases exploration speed. Uh, okay. Could do that. There's a lot we need to explore, and we're very good at exploring. Lots of things we can find. Okay, let's give that a go. But look, we also have Outpost 11 here in the Pioneer Ridge. Outpost 11. Contains a military warehouse from before the frost. Over many years, a settlement has a settlement here salvaged its contents for materials and cores. At one point, temporarily declaring independence from New London. Now the warehouse is empty. We could use it as a storage facility or salvage the remains of the settlement. Re-establish Outpost 11, and Outpost here will greatly increase our stockpile limits. Okay, or we'll salvage the settlement. Hundred thousand material stockpile. No, let's... An outpost here will greatly increase our stockpile limits. Hmm, let's leave that out for now. <clears throat> We'd need to have, like, a great economy. It would be nice to have our stockpiles greatly increased for the whiteouts, definitely. And I think, you know, last time we could have actually stocked up more. However, right now we're sort of... Uh, yeah, we're missing a bit of oil here. <clears throat> I actually like that idea because yeah especially if we get yeah if we get these outposts going then let's let's get the, all of that kind of sucked in and into the stockpiles I actually really like this idea yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and do that there's nowhere more secure for our stockpiles than outpost 11 and outpost here yep let's go ahead and do that um now, Nansen Stormwatch will increase exploration speed. We already have one settlement like that here. Um, let's go ahead and give this a go. Now, we could actually even build a skyline, no? 
Do we need to... Does it need to be trail? Trail or skyway? And we might as well build one step of a skyway. <coughs> so that, uh, you know, we save money and just build one skyway all the way here. Um, or... Or do we just build a skyway, like a trail to this? And then we'll build a skyway from outpost. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's not waste money. Let's get... <clears throat> okay, why can't the skyway... Okay. Curious. Let's do this. Shouldn't that, shouldn't that connect? Let's, I'm actually curious. Let's go ahead and build this. Will this connect the skyway all the way to New London or not? <clears throat> if we get it to this hub. I kind of feel like it should, right? Although it says, I mean, there is certain capacity limit, so... Not sure how that will work out. Let's test it out. Now, if we establish a settlement here, production efficiency is extremely decreased. Out... Wait, hang on. Production efficiency is extremely decreased. Research speed increased. I don't get this. If we create a settlement, production efficiency is extremely decreased. What? Production efficiency is extremely... I think it means increased, no? It's 300. Output 400 coal. Permanent resource deposit. What? I feel like we need to... I think maybe we need to use this up first. And then we make it an outpost. No? I don't know. 500 workforce. That would increase our research speed dramatically, apparently. Stuart? Do we have 500 people? Not really. I mean, what do we have here? Here we don't have enough, or well, barely. We have six. Well, I mean, no. Old dreadnought is like super efficient, right? We got the housing. We're building a bit of food. We're stable. It would be nice to actually have a bit more here, but it's not really possible. Okay, this thing is running on oil itself, pumping all the oil we can. Okay, old dreadnought is just fine. Fine, let's get back to New London. Okay, 96. We should get some population very soon. Let's have a look at this event. Ooh, pressure point, winter home. Stuart, the faith keepers have gathered, have gathered en masse, publicly flogging themselves to atone for your decision to settle winter home. Our pitiful flesh is weak, one priest cries as he whips himself. It needs warmth, a strong generator to survive. We could salvage the cores from winter home that we might thrive once again. The Evolvers argue that this act of self-flagellation is a public disturbance and warn it may encourage others to join the Faith Keepers. What should we do? The Faith Keepers may protest if relations continue to worsen. Ban self-flagellation. Relations improve with Evolvers. Faith Keepers' fervor is increased. This grotesque fear-mongering not... This is grotesque fear-mongering not fit for public. Agree. Uh, let's keep a lid on it. Yeah. Yeah, let's get okay, there. Fervor has increased, unfortunately. But... <clears throat> that's just how it is. Okay. Let's get this population growth. We really need this. Well, actually, what we really need is... Our logistics district. We need the Vanguard... No. Attended freight dock. So 300 skyways capacity. Resource production and outposts connected by skyways is significantly increased, apparently. Let's go ahead and get that. Attended freight dock. We'll get that in here. Okay. We're about to run out of food here. Two buildings. 220 food. Okay, let's see. We'll get this out of the door and we build... We Population increased. 3,000 more people live among us. <clears throat> Excellent. 
Uh, we're gonna need to build some food districts, advanced bio waste hut. That will require a core, but this is for food, so I would suggest we do it. But I would suggest we do this because we need food. We could have saved these cores and built that outpost, that's true, but I think we're gonna need more and more food as our population grows, so I think we shouldn't be shy about. Uh, about uh, shouldn't be shy about food okay we put those housing districts online we still need one more housing district we have the money okay excellent only heat yeah couldn't really be better let's build another housing district here <coughs> We are probably going to build another industrial. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this and build another industrial district in here. Right. And we could, in fact... Where are these hubs? We got stockpiles. But in our research, right? In our research, it did say hubs. Uh, I wanted to get maintenance hub. Rail hub. Efficiency in neighboring extraction, industrial, or food districts is increased. Node, yeah, so I would like to build a node connecting districts through elevated railway to transport cargo and boost productivity. Let's actually wait, because if I could build this right in the middle here, this would be like an amazing hub. Uh, but I'm not sure how that actually works. So before we get rid of this one, let's research that. Um... Although we do need the goods factories kind of now rather than later. God, we're using all of our oil. Jesus. Okay, we're. And even a little bit of coal. It's madness. Absolute madness. How much energy we need. And we're going to need more, by the way. Food. Okay, food is out. Let's go ahead and remove these buildings. Getting more buildings in, that's fine. We're gonna fix the food issue. We have. Uh, we could create a settlement, no Skyway connection. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Um. Let's use up all this coal first. I mean, research. Let's establish one here and see, see what that actually does. Okay, we have 27 of these guys. Connect trails. Let's connect trails because we do want that exploration speed. It's in the end. Just in case we will. Boost this exploration speed. Sure, let's do it. Okay, we are increase. Okay, that's only. Okay, only two Frostland teams, but they increase exploration speed dramatically. Um, Howling Shore. Okay, more food and cores. We need 20 Frostland teams, however. People. Okay, Frostland dwellers and food. Frozen sea. Partially frozen water as far as the eye can see. Some people tried to cross it on foot years ago in search of a fabled promised land. The story continues to inspire countless tales and legends. Let's go ahead and explore that. Uh, hopefully with these bonuses now, we're going to be super quick at exploration. Now, here we're still kind of sitting. Abandoned camp. I see. Why is there this picture? Wandering survivors, a group of people fleeing from the relentless whiteout, wander, wandering through the treacherous expanse of the frostland. Many have, la many have labored breath and feverish eyes. Okay, they're just kind of walking around. Okay. 
crop selection, new passive boost proposed by Frostlanders. Is that in the council? Uh, crop selection. Oh, wait. Okay. <coughs> so that was uh, food energy efficiency, right? Yeah, crop selection, base heat demand. Okay. Now we do, yeah, we do need, we have promised blast foundries 14 weeks okay let's go ahead and research that since we promised it um dear me create a settlement no skyway connection okay skyway connection is being built okay getting this connection in what's going on here we need more housing we're out of hang on this cannot be why are we advanced bioways hothouse 110 food okay another empty building slot advanced this actually requires a core 70 food 100 food how is that because our population is so high now what's the 176 food It's curious because we need we need this then like ASAP connect trails okay, we need skyways to this thing across one teams okay yeah across this vast expanse shouldn't really be a problem okay well let's get the rest of these sorted get this built this built okay we need food urgently we need a settlement with food. Okay. Create a settlement. We need a core. Oh, which we don't have anymore. Oh, dear me. Deary me. Hang on. Can we just... Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's do this. So yeah, these ha these have now been connected, right? Yeah, so this does work the way I thought it would. Increases all stockpile limits. I mean, we don't really need this because we're not at any stockpile limits right now, are we? Yeah, we're not really pushing on anything at the moment. <coughs> yeah, we also have this district harvest. One core, 90 food. Hmm. Okay, we actually... Hang on. Those reindeer seem to be slowly dying away to constant storms and lack of edible fauna. They won't survive too many more years. Perhaps we should send our hunters while we can. Okay. Okay, we need cores. Hopefully we're exploring. We'll hopefully find some cores in the frozen sea. Let's get that exploration up, though. Anywhere else we can find cores? Here we're at 10. Again, food and cores. The hills. There is a legend about a male reindeer or bull that lived here before the frost. When the great storm came, its fur turned white and it ran all around the land, gathering lost herds and leading them to a shelter within the mountains. Behind every legend is an icicle of truth. Okay, send them over. Deal with that in a second. Okay, what did we get? So we should have a temperature increase, that should help us. Okay, we have enough housing, food, materials, goods. Okay, we're kind of uh, crime minor stable, squalor is stable. Okay, we were doing so well just a second ago, but now that we have. We do have two and a half thousand people, so that's at least a positive. We don't really have a lot of heat stamps, so I'm thinking, is there any point in establishing a, an outpost here, given we just don't have enough people? 
to actually do anything with that outpost. Rather, we don't have enough. I'm saying we don't have enough heat stamps to. Uh, we don't have enough heat stamps to do a lot of research, or you know, even if we do it super quickly. Let's have a look at this young blood experimental treatment steward. A young doctor named Doug Hauser has come to us with a complaint. The chief physician at my clinic hasn't developed any new treatments in months. What's worse, whenever I propose one myself, he always delays for more analysis. Meanwhile, our patients languish. Hauser argues under the experimental treatment law, the chief physician should be replaced. By Hauser, of course. He has the Evolvers' support. What should we do? Replace the chief physician. Maybe the young doctor's boldness will lead to some breakthroughs. Relations slightly improve with Evolvers or... Dismiss the young doctor's plea. Relations worsen with Evolvers. Hmm. Maybe it will lead to some breakthroughs. Throw. Let's go for it. Favor of relations, yeah, okay. Can you guys enhance workers? No, we can't. We can't. We're not. We're kind of keep balancing. I mean, maybe that's good. We keep balancing. We're keeping tensions low. We're keeping all factions kind of equally pleased. You know, but that doesn't really give us any of those special powers. But I guess so be it, right? It's the end of that food district. They've replaced the head doctor, you heard. Let's see. Okay, we are functioning all the way. We're consuming all the oil we have. But, you know, we're actually running out of oil here. So we need coal urgently, frankly. Right, so we need to establish this outpost now. We need one core, though. Oh, we missed that completely. Yeah, we need a core, I guess, to heat the whole thing. Okay, let's explore for cores. Hopefully we get some here. Oh, they haven't even started exploring. Okay, so it does actually matter how far away this whole thing is. Yeah, because this is just traveling. This is only traveling time and then they need to explore. Wow. <coughs> okay. Well, the gorge needs to be explored. Without we need 20 teams. Right. Okay, we do have... People are constructing this. This is using up some teams. Well, let's maybe once we start using this, perhaps, that will uh, speed things up. Let's see. Boom. Okay, we do we have 14 teams now. Um, okay, we need more teams than that. Where else can we find cores? The mountains, 23. Nine teams here. Coal materials. Probably due to an unknown sea current. This area is full of old shipwrecks, ground into mangled remains by tons of sea ice. It is a dangerous place where few dare to tread. Yeah, we could send these guys here. What else is there? Howling shore, cores and food. Oh, we just need a little bit more. Where could we get the Frostland teams from? I mean, do we really need this? Auto speed, research speed increased. Okay, well, this is gonna run out pretty soon. Dear me. Make trails or skyway. Hmm. Anywhere we can get a few teams from. We are getting 150 food. <laughs> oh, yeah, basically, yeah, more food and cores, so that would be very nice to get it, but we need 18 teams, so we need 5 teams to drop from somewhere. I guess expo increase exploration speed with just 2. Here we're consuming 5. Exploration cost decreased. Frostland teams required for exploration minus 10%. So we can't speed and cost. Yes, this is all good. 
really can't spare anymore. And yeah, exploring this is kind of pointless. Nine teams. Okay, we can't even go any further than that. Windward Moor. Okay. The ridge people core. Oh, we really need to the ridge line. That's what we need to explore. I mean, it's going to take a bit of time, but I feel like, okay, let's go ahead and explore this since we're just spending time. Probably due to an unknown sea current. This area is full of old shipwrecks, ground into mangled remains by tons of sea ice. It is a dangerous place where few dare to tread. Fine, let's just do it. Just because we have Frostland teams and nothing else to do with them. We desperately need cores. Okay, we're in a bit of a bottleneck, which I don't really like. But it's okay, we'll find. Wait, we do have two and a half thousand people not really doing much here, which I do not like. We're again out of materials very soon. Okay, we do have... We're stockpiling food. I like that. We're eating through our materials. We don't have enough goods either. So let's sort out the goods situation. But that one we're waiting for that production efficiency hub. Materials, however... Materials shouldn't really be a problem. Um, 45 weeks. Okay, quite interesting. Interesting that we don't have space here. We need this. We could also just extend extend this thing. Okay, but we need to frost break, however. Um, so let's frost break these. And then where do we go from there? I guess we just go up here. Frost break this to give this once some, you know, a longer lease for life for just a little bit. But here it has to be a different district, right? Maybe we could then, uh, yeah, maybe we could then even uh, extend into here, near fuel stockpile hub. 100% workforce requirement. Where's our fuel stockpile hub? Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's here. Um... So we get this heat bonus, we're frost breaking near industrial district. So if we Yeah, if we then extend into here, we should be doing very well, right? Surely. I would think. Or no, in fact, let's build a materials district here. What we could do then. What we could do is build an industrial district. Okay, but we're not really going to do that. Hang on. Uh, we can't start it. In I was thinking of building an industrial district here. In between all of these. Kind of extending this way. That will give heat to this materials district. But we need that, that production efficiency hub. Right? This will... I mean... If we could build that like right there and build like another industrial district here, we would get less labor force requirement and we could get that production efficiency. And we really need to research that, but that's gonna take like another eight weeks. Can we really afford to wait that long? Not really, if I'm honest with you. Like we just have to kind of go with it, right? I mean, it does say it's a hub, and all hubs seem to be like one spot. So if we build one, if we leave this square empty, right, surely it will then spread to like one, two, three, and even some district here. 
if that works. If it does work, then we might as well build this industrial district around here. Okay, let's go ahead and just break kind of into like this way. Get the ground prepared. Yeah, this is our industrial, okay. Industrial area and materials manufacturing area. Do we need to stockpile things? Population size, yeah. Okay, we need... We need cores is what we need, because we need to create settlements, yeah. We're gonna run out of coal in from this one, and that's... Not gonna be great. Frozen Sea we're exploring, we're exploring... Uh, exploring this, the graveyard. Okay. In one week they will arrive, Commander Lilia Ferguson. Okay. <laughs> We're exploring the foothills. Does it say how long it's going to take? Time to chart, nine weeks. Five weeks, where's the time? Five weeks? Okay. Fine, let's just explore all of this, find some cores, find some good things, and then we focus on winter home. The whiteout is still actually covering that, but we'll get the gorge, we'll explore the mountains, this ridge line, but we really want that. And we have enough frostland teams, so we'll be fine. Outfit an expedition, come back later. Yeah, we don't really need any prefabs. Prefabs and heat stabs were actually fine on. Okay. Your apprentice from the dangerous aspect of your job. Okay. So let's give this materials districts a new lease of life. It's got enough for 100 weeks, right? But uh, this should give it another couple of deposits and another building. So hopefully that will uh, deal with that materials shortage there. Having said that, though. We could also yeah, do what we wanted to do here and get that sorted. Okay, the frost break is over. Let's get the industrial district in. Heat for this one. Heat for itself. Doesn't really help it. Okay, two heat. That will give heat to two districts. Okay, this stockpile hub only gives reduction to materials districts it doesn't right hang on let's just check this the fuel stockpile hub workforce demand in neighboring extraction districts decreased <coughs> so it doesn't really it does it doesn't actually have any any effect anymore so this will be a perfect spot for that efficiency yeah so what we should do is yeah so just build either we can build it there or we can't Save some heat. And then we can extend this potentially. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and build that. Yeah, that's another industrial district. Save some heat. You know, we might have to... Uh, yeah, we can demolish this and build another one somewhere. I mean, it decreases workforce requirement. Yeah, we should have really thought about that earlier in the game, but... But we didn't, so that's that's life. <laughs> this is 93 weeks with the extension. That's uh, okay, that's actually less because we get those extra deposits. Vast frozen forest remaining, 200 million. Deep melt melting drill. Deep melting drill building. Resources, materials. Yeah, I guess that's like third tier research. 
okay fine we'll have to think it through yeah it's really materials that we are uh, because we do have two permanent food deposits we'll have to think about that yeah let's think about what outposts we have what what mixture of things we have because we definitely need an outpost for coal that means with other things we're going to need to deal here let's have a look promising new cure experimental treatment steward duck hauser the doctor whom you recently allowed to rise to the rank of chief physician is proud to announce his clinic has discovered a new cure for consumption hauser gave his patients the ex extract of a certain mold and the vast majority recovered soon the whole city will use this method disease is slightly decreased i see excellent miracle cure discovered experimental drug positive proves effective disease falls i'm telling you it just worked like a miracle warmer season heat demand decreased excellent okay let's stockpile 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 oh hang on did we did we explore yes we did we finished frozen sea exploration uh, okay we're about to finish something else too that's excellent fishing trawler a fishing trawler with full catch is locked in ice a logbook in the hold suggests the vessel originally hailed from somewhere called canada but we have no idea where it has been since the catch may still be edible if people in New London have strong stomachs. Take the catch or come back later. 75,000 food stockpile, five frostland teams. Disease is significantly increased. Come back later. Okay, let's come back later. Nomad exiles. These people are shunned by other nomads. They are tight-lipped about exactly what happened they are willing to integrate with our communities if we let them start if we let them start a fresh life in new london take the exiles in sure take 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 them in okay nine frostland teams we're about to finish okay, really see okay the hills are about to be explored dead end crags explored Okay, what do we have here? A fishing spot. A line of rusting shacks marks an ideal fishing spot. The wind, the wind calm, the ice thin enough to cut, to cut through. Schools of, of cod and char swimming below. Excellent. An outpost here could increase our supply by 90 food until its deposit of 77,000 food is depleted. Harvests requires cores. We'll send resources to New London. Okay. Sites of conflict, Robert expedition. A pair of broken down transports are flanked by unmarked graves. Neither damage nor death were the result of natural causes. If repaired, the transports could be useful for future expeditions. Then again, their course could be useful too. Exploration time is extremely decreased. Oh, take the course, two cores, come back later. Man. Deserters' ends. That's another thing we found. A transport lies in pieces, frozen corpses scattered around, unburied. Our scouts found a journal amongst the carnage. After that bloodshed weeks back, he's only got madder. He speaks of splitting atoms, setting the air on fire, ending the frost. He's declared this a one-way journey and hanged the men who argued. Not waiting for the same. Bury the bodies and go. There's nothing more that can be done for them. For better or worse, we know Robert's expedition will not return. Hmm. Okay, we do have two cores available here. But we could extremely decrease exploration. Extremely decreased. Oh. No cores here. No cores here. extremely decreased okay we need okay, let's repair the transports our scouts can use these long range transports to traverse the harshest territories okay let's do this let's sacrifice these two cores and they just explore everything like asap dismantle the station one core one proof of rebuild the station We have no need for this unless we re-establish contact with the hot springs requires a trail to the city. Okay, let's wait. 23, 13. 
Okay, let's just wait for our scouts to finish this. Okay, we're kind of delaying things quite a bit. Okay, I hope that extreme exploration speed decrease is actually going to work. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, we're still paused. Why are we paused? Get back to it. ton of prefabs we need goods yeah we're not <coughs> we're producing goods in all industrial districts we have okay we're good on materials so that's a positive now we can do a second building by the way it's only 80 weeks left here what about this 130 weeks left okay for now without another building New Londoners demands met. The New Londoners are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity. I see. Okay. So we do have goods. I mean, we're going to get more people. So we might as well just, just get this building in. Extraction. No, industrial district. Mechanical factory. Let's just get it in. Get the goods flowing. Okay, we only have 80 weeks left here. Okay, we're obviously out of materials again. 130 weeks in here. We do have extraction, mechanized sawmill. Let's put this in. We need to stockpile materials, stockpile everything. We're almost saved. Find winter home, prepare winter home for colonization. Yeah, that's fine. We have people working. We have research available. Let's go ahead to hubs and let's get rail hub. Production efficiency, neighboring extraction, industrial, or food district is increased. Research the idea for 100 heat stamps. Okay. Eight weeks. Oh. It just came and gone. Didn't even get a chance to click on it. Okay, our scouts are coming back. The graveyard is almost explored. Bring everything back. And then we'll see. We do have... We need two cores for these. Oh, yeah, we need cores. We need cores desperately. Desperately need cores. Is this thing, if we harvest, we need one core. Yeah. Hmm. We really need to this coal. So we need to stockpile heat. I'm really Hmm, really concerned to be honest. Nothing we can do though really. Okay, we got great trust by the way. Can we get these guys to uh de radicalize evolvers? Further decreases. No, but that's fine. Can we de-radicalize faith keepers? Requires favorable relations. <coughs> okay, can these guys enhance workers? No, they need favorable relations. Okay. So we are respected. So that's good. Okay, fine. We're doing fine. Okay, let's get the scouts. Let's launch an expedition to the gorge. That gives us nothing though. The Serpentine Gorge is the hallmark of the approach to New London, promising a safe return. Oh. Fine, let's just do this. Just deal with this. And then next is the ridge line, and then it's winter home. This is a, should be very fruitful. T cores, frostland dwellers. Although we need cores like right now. We're really bottlenecked at the moment. I'm gonna get more people, so another housing district is in order. Isn't it? Yeah, here we got squalor, so let's see. Yeah, here where we are missing that food district now. It's kind of three for us. It would have been nice. I think. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, yeah, let's. Kind of go along here, yeah, like along the way. 
this good place to frost break for a housing district. Hopefully we'll research that hub that should raise the production efficiency of this whole thing. This is just giving us... Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, goods, materials. Nice, this is all good. Yeah, we need stockpiles of everything. Housing, we're missing. We do have 14 teams. It's fine, we need that spare workforce to establish settlements. 14. Okay, that's because we're like all over the place. Okay, well, we are exploring this. Okay, we're going to need to give something up here because we're really falling behind. This is only five teams. We need 23 teams for this. Okay, so we've explored the graveyard. What has that given us? The Royal Navy. We located a wrecked ship lodged on its side, encased in a massive block of ice. HMS Atalanta, barely legible on the aft starboard hull. We were unable to get inside, but we found a jagged hole into the engine room. It was full of coal and not much else. The place made our scouts quite uneasy. We noticed that our compasses were behaving erratically in the vicinity of the wreck. Probably best not to linger here. Take the coal. Whatever happened to the ship's crew, they no longer have any use for it. Okay, let's take the coal. And we also found an imperial freighter, the Old Empire. The wreck of a mighty freighter marked with the colors of the Old Empire. It is the only wreck we see it is the only wreck we see facing away from and not towards the coast. It seems to have collided with another vessel and partially sunk, but fortunately enough remains above the surface to be salvaged. And now post here could increase our supply of materials by 200. Okay. Materials outpost. Okay. Mountains, coast. So there's a couple more provinces here. Goods, cores, prefabs. Oh. Goods. Oh, okay. Another 23 teams, though. I mean, more core. 18 teams for this howling shore. Jesus, we need a lot of teams. What kind of increases exploration speed? That's great. Okay, we have nine teams. Let's get. Let's wait. I mean. Kind of out of exploration teams, aren't we? Okay, let's wait for these guys to get back. Probably give. I mean, this is only five. <coughs> let's see. Those nine aren't really doing anything. We'll have 14 without these. Still not enough, though. Although, maybe with all of these bonuses, you know, we'll. Okay, fine, we'll explore one region at a time, but, you know, we'll do so very quickly. Okay, Cursed Valley, that will have Frostland Dwellers now, but we need we need cores. Okay, the ridge line is next for sure. The ridge line is next. Okay. Back to my timer. Okay, we are we do need another housing district. How are we doing in old dreadnought? We're all stable. Now just in case resource transfer we could just just build like a small stockpile of everything Let's maximize this route let's get this kind of 20s get that little stockpile building up here <coughs> okay we're in a 600 oil this way we're... yeah otherwise we're yeah old dreadnought is stable Perfect. Here we're building up all of our stockpiles. We do need a housing district, as we knew. Okay, boom, boom. Nice. Okay, that was a lot of heat. It's a very efficient housing district. Nice. Get that going. We're halfway. Yeah, we have enough people. I mean, it's it's okay. We can wait with the cores, I guess, because we wouldn't have enough workforce otherwise whereas right now we're just stable building up that workforce and we'll start sending them out into the frostlands to settle new lands for us a 
assigned research increases relations. Okay, excellent. New hub proposed. So what do we have? Food store rail hub. Okay, so if we built this like here, motion efficiency is slightly increased. So we'll have like lots of goods and lots of uh, prefabs, right? So we could get lots of food. Enough for materials, yeah, this. Okay, for wall building, it's not really enough, but here it could be enough. So what we need is really to remove this fuel stockpile because this is the perfect location. They will cover surely at least three of these. Yeah, you won't hit this one. We build one here though. This is difficult to tell, but it would definitely hit this one, two, three, probably four. Maybe this is actually even better. Okay, let's get rid of this one. See how that if that helps us. I mean, it's gonna it, it's gonna remove some of the heat bonuses, but. Let's see. Uh, research, research. Okay. What's next? Eating. I mean, we need more oil. No communities are ready for this extreme. <coughs> well, I don't know, guys. Pyrochemicals. So it seems to me like new work model. So somehow they're ready for this. Production efficiency is significantly increased. Heat demand is decreased per all districts and buildings. I guess let's radical idea. Uh, is that because we? Yeah, I think that's because research and idea will unlock a new law. In seven weeks, production efficiency is significantly increased. Heat demand is decreased in all districts. This harsh world has no place for weakness. We will solely rely on the fittest and strongest workers and push them to achieve their maximum potential. I think this is because we said we achieved one of these, or is it because we're so far to adaptation? Okay, potentially we could go there. If we don't go there, where do we go? What do we need? Let's have a look. How are we doing on... Crime is stable. Squalor is minor but growing. Crime is minor but stable. So another ventilation shaft and another watchtower. Right, housing. So anywhere? No, nope, we don't have anything. But we could always extend. So a couple of these would be nice. And we have the workforce for it. We have the materials, etc. <coughs> Something we could do. In terms of society, maybe youth and get that population growth and workforce. Prisons. Thought correction prison. Prison with therapy wings. Utilizing innovative methods to cure criminals from their impulses and rehabilitate them as functional members of society. That's evolvers. Unlocks the mobilized prison wards district ability, which provides additional guards. Squads, but reduces prison's effect on crime. Trust falls slightly. Okay, the situation is not that dire just yet, I don't think. Now we could get yeah, the alcohol thing. Heat stamps or trust, increased trust with the rovers. We could get this one. Crosslands, anything we can get. Harvester hangers, actually. 20% harvesting efficiency for food. Yeah, let's stockpile the food while we have those outposts out there. Gleaning harvester hanger. Constru oh, it needs to be constructed in logistics districts. Uh, yeah, we don't really have... Sp we don't have any more space for logistics districts. <sighs> City. Fine on everything. It's really the heating. Yeah, I mean, it's really all about resources. Let's just get to new work model with the evolver. Seven weeks. 
heat demand is decreased, so we're going to start stockpiling all uh, everything and production efficiency everywhere is better. Radical idea. Up. up. Ready, do we really want this? Alcohol, like we, yeah, it's too early to decide. Labor organization, mandatory unions. We could actually do with some production efficiency decrease because we're going to get the massive increase, right? Efficiency. Yeah, we don't want to lose trust. Society, the population growth would be nice. Maybe let's get these. Liberated youth, young adults are encouraged to experiment free from arbitrary bounds. Trust rises slightly. Not that we need that trust. I feel like if yeah, let's let's go with the radical idea and then we'll deal with the fallout. I mean we're in a good position to deal with any fallout. We can you know do other research, pass other laws to increase trust, but for now let's do this one. Apex workers. Boom, let's go for it. All right, time to up our game. For sure. Okay, we need to extend... We, we might extend that housing district, but also... Yeah, I think this one can be extended. I think this one likewise can be... Ex oh, look, we can extend this one again. All right. Because it already has a surveillance tower in it. interesting hmm. <laughs> hmm hang on should we which district should is best to extend? This one's under construction. Is there anything here, perhaps, that need that can be worthwhile to extend? This is all frozen. Now maybe then we get this one. Getting a little bit close to this squalor. But yeah, I think this will do. No? The worst comes to... Yeah, well, they can then get one closer to this. Close... Maybe even like so. And then we can build another housing district here along the food. And everything. And as long as we keep away from this, we should be fine. Okay, let's extend this one. So that's for, you know, another watchtower or something. Um... going hmm, I'm curious as to what this radical idea does however I've been looking at the timer guys I think we've come up come up on the hour unfortunately so let's make a cut here that was a good episode I think we've you know more than stabilized we're back back on our feet back in the fight stocking up on resources so let's just get those exploration teams we're going to explore the ridge line and find winter home next and start actually establishing those uh, outposts once we get the cores which i think is okay that we've been delayed because we will need a substantial amount of workforce to leave london for that so let's stabilize london get it to a good spot and then we'll proceed from there so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you're enjoying this i am having a blast give it a like if you are and i'll see you in the next one bye for now